Yeah, me and Paul have played a couple times in tournaments, not that many times. We played yeah. once at the final table in Monte Carlo. Yes, 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 you busted me. Yeah. <laughs> in sixth place. Yeah. Yeah, everything got pretty short stacked in that tournament, yes. so a lot of the hands just played themselves. Yes. So we didn't get to play that I much. Think, yeah, tournament play, yes, I think I still have a lot to learn. Yes, especially from players like Dan, you know. Yeah, from what I could tell, it seemed like you were playing pretty good. Uh, okay, still learning, still learning. <laughs> Especially when short stack uh, plays so much different from cash games. Right, yeah, the, the play changes a bunch, mm -hmm. as well as when you go into the money bubble, yes, where yes, a yes. lot of the hands don't play the same because you have to be more cautious in some areas. Mm -hmm. For some player stacks, you can be a bit more aggressive. There's another added element to it that goes outside the normal ranges of normal cash game poker. Yes, definitely. I think, yeah, the way the online poker game works, I think it's very, it puts recreational players at a severe disadvantage, mm -hmm. where any guy you're playing against, they have software, they have HUDs that show them everybody's stats, they mine hands from the days and weeks before to get a database on players they never even played with to understand how they play. Um, Everything's very unfair for the recreational player, the way the online environment is these days. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. And even recently, you have seen artificial intelligence beating the top pro players, you know, which was, mm. you begin, begin to think, you know, am I playing against a computer, you know, sometimes? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it worries me a bit. I think online poker will die down as a result of computers and machines playing. I think this will come in the next one, two, three years. Oh, yes, it's yes. already happening in some game formats. For live poker, I don't see it really impacting the games all that much, apart from good online players may soon have to realize there's no money online, then they come over to play live and Maybe they hurt live games by being robotic and motionless and yes. they're not fun to play with. So maybe that'll hurt live poker in some way. But yeah, for the most part, I think machines will hurt poker overall in the coming years. I think live poker will certainly survive mm -hmm. long after online is dead. Yes, especially I think tournaments, you know. Yeah, and tournaments will always be good. You see all those tournaments, they see record numbers year after year, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it speaks that the, the game is heading for the right direction in mm -hmm. terms of tournaments. Yeah, and live tournaments will always draw people for the sake of a huge top prize yes. and it's more gambling. I think some young players have an advantage, but for the most part, I think when you go from the online realm and, and cross over to live poker, mm -hmm. you're always uncomfortable at first. Yes. And they might know I have to bluff right here, but then they think about it, then they think, oh, maybe they're on to me. Yes. I check. And you have to get confidence to be able to follow through with your game plan in live poker. So I think some is very difficult for some young online players to do that, so they never really make the seamless transition yes. as other online players uh, are able to. One good example is Jagerman, you know. <laughs> two years ago, when I first played with him in Montenegro, you know, we have tons of tales on him live, you know. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, one day, one of his backers asked me, Paul, how do you think jungle men play? I said, you want me to tell you honestly? <laughs> <laughs> then I said, uh, we all have a tons of tales of him. Said, what other tales? Oh, I said, I can't tell you now. <laughs> but uh, since after that, you know, he has... We get very little tale from jungle men nowadays. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah.